Basim. Ali, are you ready? We must go. Let us go. We must leave for Jarjaraya. It is not time to go exploring. You hidden ones are strange. You give weapons you don't want me to use, then give me credit for your victories. War would be bad for everyone. Especially you. That is your master. Does it not bother you that those you obey are the same ones who make the rules demanding your obedience? They do not control me. I am free. I fight so that others are free as well. Everything you do serves the Hidden Ones. That is a strange kind of freedom. The Hidden Ones are my family. There is no contradiction. If you say so. Once I lived on the streets and answered only to myself. But I was not free. Now that others tell you who you are, are you any freer? You could not understand. I understand better than you. Do not move too far from me. If you are truly free, why the struggle within you? What do you mean? There is no struggle. I see that what you think is at war with what you feel. You will never find truth if you are not first truthful with yourself. No man can see what another thinks. No normal man. But look at me. I obey no one. I am ruined. I want to look around before Beshi arrives in Jarjaraya with the bodies. That would be wise. People here are already angry. Things will be worse after the burials. There is a tea house nearby. Tea drinkers talk. You might hear something there about who is taking our men. What will you do? I have my own inquiries to make. Meet me back here if you discover something. This looks like the tea house Ali mentioned. This is cold. Get me another. And heat it this time. Yes, sir. A thousand apologies. Perfectly good sun flames go missing. Yet incompetence like you remain. Don't stop talking. Just get my tea. You work and work and what do you get? <laughs> Nothing! 
A tea house is a dangerous place to be drinking. You could have been arrested. I've just had a lot of trouble lately. You said some of your slaves have gone missing. Hmm. Did I? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, not just missing. They disappeared. People do not just disappear. These did. Last night, two of mine did not come back from the fields. No one saw anything. They just disappeared. Poof. So you thought you would get drunk in a public tea house? Well, yeah. Oh, my head. Look, do not tell anyone. I have to go home and fall over. Forgive me again. You mentioned missing slaves. I told you to go away. Do you want me to call the guard? Perhaps a token will change your mind. How dare you? What do you... Wait. How did you come by one of those? Fine. But make it quick. You mentioned Zenj slaves have been going missing. I don't see what it has to do with you. But yes. A stranger. One of those rebels has been disturbing the slaves. After he spoke with them, they disappeared. No doubt he's an acquaintance of that troublemaker, Ali ibn Muhammad. That's all I know. Now, leave before someone who matters sees me talking with someone like you. Hey, over here. This way. Citizens! Have you heard sentiments expressed in sympathy? Did you want something? Not here. There are too many ears, if you take my meaning. Ah, yes, Sayidi. Our special teas are kept out the back. This way, watch your step. Follow me. Act casual. <sighs> All right, it's clear. Well, we seem to be alone. What did you want? Sorry for the melodramatics, but you never know who's watching. And this sneaking about is all rather exciting. I saw your red sash and heard you talking about missing slaves. Another has disappeared from a farmhouse near here. How do you know of this? I am friendly with the family. The husband was one of those executed. Now the son has gone missing as well. His mother is beside herself with worry. I thought you might be able to help her. Tell me where this farmhouse is. A little to the west. Slaves don't trust easily. But if you can do anything for her, I would consider it a personal favor. I should return to Ali and tell him what I have discovered. Of wisdom at the sea. I don't 
know the things you're asking me. <clears throat> Did you know I can hear what men think? You don't want to tell me, but you win. Ah! We should not do this. It will only make more trouble for us. More trouble than executions? <clears throat> they slaughtered our brothers. How do you not understand? Ali, what is this? This is not what we agreed to. I do what must be done. I do not need your approval. Did you discover something? Slaves are disappearing from all over Georgiaia. One from a nearby farmhouse. I will go there and see what I can find. Good. Our friend here has been spending his mornings at the harbor, meeting with one we think is informing for the Khalifa. You could find this informant and follow him. See where that leads. Meanwhile, Beshi and I will loosen our friend's tongue. This is a mistake, Ali. Let us see. I should look for the informant and help the widow find her missing son. That is the mark. Lead on. Show me where I need to go. Lost sight of you. Good. Now stay where I can see you, would you? Apart from that slave kid I already told you about, someone's been sniffing around Jarjaraya asking questions. Uh, is it the one we reported last time? That troublemaker, Bashi? This one is new. No one seems to know anything about him. What are we doing then? I'm carrying letters for the boss and you're wasting my time! Come back when you've got a name. Be off with you.
These two were gathering information for someone called Duan bin Arslan. Duan's farm will be heavily guarded. I should return to Ali and discuss the next move. You return at last. What have you done? What I had to do. Is this what your freedom looks like? I do not follow your creed, nor do I answer to the Hidden Ones. This is the price of war. Beshi would disagree. Beshi does not lead this rebellion. He does his part and I do mine. But enough. What have you discovered? The missing slaves were taken at the order of one called Duan bin Arslan. Something big is happening soon. I do not know what. I do. This one said my men are being interrogated and are to be executed by their leader afterward at the villa. Ali, the informant mentioned Beshi by name. They are looking for him. Let them look. Go free my men. I will prepare our attack on the villa. Meet me near the farm when you are done. This looks like the farm where Ali's men are being held. Cast your gaze and keep it. You must not fly there now, Enkidu. Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu.
Hido can scout ahead safely now. Your mother is waiting for you. I'm not going back yet. They killed my father. I will fight with the others. You are brave. Fine. Meet Ali outside the farm. There must be others being held nearby. Let us get a wider view.
Be ready. Sounds like we've got trouble. Right, nothing's happening. Hold on. Is everyone here? The one bin Arslan dies now. We wait only for you. I am ready. Let us go. They stole you from your homes when you were free. And brought you here to die in their fields as slaves. They've slaughtered our brothers like dogs in Sharqiya. Now they have taken more of us. I promised you a new life. I gave you my word. More join us every day. From the least in Baghdad to the greatest. Allah is with us. Our cause is righteous. Our justice is destined. God is great. God is great. There is no God but God. And God is great. There is no God but God. There is no God but God. There is no judgment but my God! No. No. Show me the path ahead. What do you see, Enkidu? gets out of this victory, many will join our cause. Du'an bin Arslan was carrying orders. He was to report to superiors at the officers' club in Sharqiya. 
Those superiors may be who ordered the executions. Does it name them? It uses code names. Al Ruch and Al Aishma. Only the Order uses such names. I will go to this club and see what I can find. I wish you luck. I must return and wait for Beshi. Be careful, Ali. The Khalifa will be hunting you both after this. There are things we cannot hide from if we are to be truly free. I should go to the officer's club in Sharkia. The officer's club. Now to find a way inside. It's not enough they get to their own rules. But they hey, hey! I'll silence you! Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Was your time? What? I'll play you when I find you.
Locked. This must be the officer's room. I need the key.
Survey the area, Enkidu. Guide me, Enkidu. Unlawful to make her your slave. Oh, don't look at me like that. Allah has favored us, Jasur. Or should only the mighty Al Mardikhwar enjoy such blessings? Do not speak his name, not even here. Of all of us, he scares me the most. You know what he's like. If he learns of my past and finds fault, where can I run? I do not have the luxury of your ships, Nadir. You may have taken liberties with truth in the past, but you have proven your loyalty many times. You executed those rebels recently. That was a task more cold-blooded than his ordering of it. Perhaps he should fear you. It is your voice I hear, but the words are those of the Shaitan himself. Do not jest. I want no trouble when he returns. <laughs> Shaitan! <laughs> That is high praise coming from you. It is as I told you. We are favored. I need not fear anything. <sighs> Where is Duong? He is late. As always, my friend, you worry too much. Which is why you are merely al Ruh, and I am Aeshme. My apologies, generals. Duong bin Arslan has been murdered. And we fear there is an intruder. We must get you to safety. I knew something was wrong. Duong is never late. Those two are with the Order. And they serve a third they call al de Khwar. But now, I need to find a way out. Ugh. <sighs> 
am safe. I should return to Fulav. Mercenaries are everywhere, like angry ants. It explains Beshi's absence. He's avoiding the mercenaries. I hope the trouble was all worth it. I have discovered two of the officers are working with the Order. And there is another. Their leader. Three? That would explain the Order's reach in Sharqiya. The first two go by the names al Ruh and Al-Aishma. The third, they call al Mardekhwar. They hide behind pompous names like prideful children. Do not mistake the Order's vanities for childishness. They are the real power behind the Abbasids. Did you discover anything that would identify them? The one named al Ruh was called Jasur by his companion. He is hiding from his past and lives in fear because of it. Jasur, yes. That must be the Arab general Jasur ibn Basil. I know of him. A coward who stole credit for victories on the battlefield, won by others. A past he has gone to great efforts to hide. Jasur has a villa at Qasr Saleh to the west. You could look for him there. The one called Al-Aishma, his real name is Nadir. He has command of ships and is not timid like his companion. Arrogant, in fact. Nadir. That must be Admiral Nadir ibn Havid, a boastful fool concerned more with his ships than his own men. Ah, yes, the Admiral. Boastful, perhaps, but brilliant. He has created several new warships for the Khalifa. The Order's reach has grown if they have recruited Nader. You should look for him at the lower harbor to the north. As for their leader, al Mardekhwar, I learned only that he is away from Sharqiya and expected to return soon. This one I do not know. It is the first time I have heard the name. If he is their leader, he ordered the death of my men. He's the one you must find. Yes. And for other reasons besides. Our best hope of finding him is through the first two. Find this al Mardekhwar, Basim. As we agreed, I will wait for Beshi. I am grateful for your help freeing my men. Take this token. With thanks. I will find Jasur and Nadir and unmask their leader. They will be wary now protected within their strongholds. You may have to lure them out. Tread carefully, Basim. These are dangerous men. So am I. Somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off the finger. Maybe that will loosen her coin purse. Hey, did Jamil pay you back yet? <laughs> Thank the chief. 
and thank you. Thank you, Said. What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin request. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the direct Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. Let us get a wider view. That camp must be where the merchants are. Yeah! Yeah! The merchants should be down this road. Perhaps near a ridge for shelter. Survey the area in Kidu. Halt! Who goes? I come in peace. Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left a clue. Footprints. And a blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My horse, my sweet legume. The head Who would do such a terrible human. deed? Do not cast your must eyes on me. I did blade. no such evil. Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock! Malaka! <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but I saw someone. I think I cannot be sure. I think I know what happened.
This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La, uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran, God bless you. Quickly, get us away from here. Let us move. The city is not too far. Come, we should leave this place, quickly. You should have stayed home. <clears throat> Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. With my horse Legum, we carry goods to and from Baghdad. All the cities we visited. Our goods, Basra, and even Samara. Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Da'irat al-Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demands. So you are attending then? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. Sent you. you cannot run or hide. Enter Baghdad to pay the price. Your head will look good on a spear. Is it my turn? Pathetic! Is it my turn? Come, be crushed! Guards report to someone called Al Hanka. This confirms my suspicions. Good heavens! Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilafa and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the Silent Sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are wonderful. Thank you. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Anka. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as al Anka, Which was odd. Because is the Anka not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. Suhail lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafakakallah. <laughs>